hello guys welcome back to my channel nerdy today i am back with another video today we are going to discuss about types of mattresses okay we've been uh, discussing about how to calculate uh, determinant and uh, multiplication of two mattresses using casio calculator today we are going to go to the basics okay so let us begin with this so general matrix form is a i j and m n right so here m n is number of uh, rows into column this is i th i row j th column okay so that is how it represents now let's just start first is row matrix so what is row matrix when it has only one row and n number of columns okay so that is a row matrix here as you can see it has one one row and three columns and here it has one row and two columns and generally when a matrix has a single row or column they are called as vectors so this is a row vector similarly column vector so column vector or column matrix only one column and n number of rows so as you can see here we have only one column and we have three rows here we have one column and two rows so this is also known as a column vector okay next is square matrix so when number of rows is equals to number of columns then it is called a square matrix here this is a 3 by 3 matrix and this is a 2 by 2 matrix okay because we have equal number of rows and columns next is a diagonal matrix okay so what is a diagonal matrix a square matrix whose all of non diagonal elements are zero at least one diagonal element is non zero so here what are they are saying is uh, whose all non diagonal elements are zero okay so no, when they say non diagonal diagonal as in we will consider this okay so in turn what they mean to say is except this uh, diagonal remaining will be zero okay getting my point so this is the diagonal one so this except this remaining will be zero in non diagonal dimension so it's in, in inverse way they mentioned but yeah and here we have this three by three matrix so this is also a diagonal one the diagonal has values remaining is zero all right so that is our four types of matrices now we are going to look into other types that is let's go to our fifth type that is null matrix or we have zero matrix so in this what happens is all the elements are zero it is just simple as that it is denoted by zero so this is our null matrix or zero matrix okay now next one is unit matrix or identity matrix okay so a diagonal matrix all of whose diagonal elements are unity or one let's just go with that it is denoted by i okay this is i all right so it is saying when i say a diagonal matrix always remember it has to be a square matrix okay and diagonally it must have values remaining others like non diagonals they will be zero okay that is the main point diagonal matrix means two points you have to remember it should always be a square matrix and it ha should have values diagonally remaining non diagonal uh, values must be zero here when it comes to unit matrix the it's a diagonal matrix okay obviously and instead of having different values it has the value one okay diagonally that is a unit or identity matrix now coming to scalar matrix so scalar matrix is also a diagonal matrix whose diagonal elements are equal so just as it uh, here we had unit matrix no like this only we have square matrix so this is also a square matrix yeah yeah it is okay now the point is here whatever uh, the values it has 
diagonal values it should be same so that is a scalar matrix so you can see here examples so when you look at the example it will be easier for you to understand so here we have 2 2 okay the diagonal values are same here you see minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 it is a 3 by 3 matrix okay it is a diagonal matrix always remember diagonal matrix as in it should be a square matrix okay so values are same next important one is this all this all will be using uh, in problems okay next thing is upper triangular matrix upper triangular matrix means a square matrix in which all elements below the diagonal okay this is a diagonal okay this is a diagonal below the diagonal are zero so square matrix means the number of rows and columns should be equal okay but i'm just breaking it down square matrix in which all the elements below the diagonal are zero this is our square matrix this is our diagonal below that it should be zero okay so that is our upper triangular matrix now next is this is 2 by 2 uh, 3 by 3 we can see see this is our square matrix this is our diagonal below that it is zero so that is our upper triangular matrix in the next video we will uh, talk about the remaining types okay for now that's it in this video see you in the next one thank you guys